Well, hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today is a different kind of video, all right? Kind of different. I wanted to share with you guys some of my current natural products, meaning, um, you know, I've switched over. So you guys know I'm very, very strong <laughs> about self-care. I've learned a lot and I'm continually learning more and more and more. You know, I noticed that the flow is leading me to different types of things, scenarios, perspectives, and products. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Products, y'all. So let's get into it first. What am I going to talk about first? Because there's, there's about, I try not to bring too many things out here because I don't want it to be a long video. However, the first thing I want to talk about is anxiety. I've talked about this company before. I actually did a video called my peace and love routine. That might have been a year ago. So the company I'm talking about is Calm Botanicals. I still use those products you guys i still use them all right i'm gonna talk about my favorite ones and what they do and all that but first i want to talk about these two new products that they came out one is called energy i-n-n-e-r-g-y i love that and this one is a sleep nightly tonic i'm gonna put it down because i have to do this right here this sleep nightly tonic you guys <laughs> serious it is so serious okay let me get my thoughts together so i can present this properly okay now this energy one now these products are all natural okay all natural products they're herbs from the earth honey herbs from the earth there's nothing addictive or harmful about these unless you're allergic to a certain herb or something like that however it's, it's a tonic it's a tincture so energy obviously energy right so i no longer do caffeine at all all right or any other stimulants and this product right here has no caffeine no stimulants or anything like that it's all natural with this though it doesn't happen overnight you have to kind of get it in your system so it's good to take it like twice a day and you the more you take it or the more consistently you take it let's put it that way you'll feel the benefits of it the more consistently you take it now the first day i didn't i mean honestly i was like okay you know you used to having coffee you used to that that real caffeinated buzz or that stimulant then you know this doesn't that this doesn't do that so if you're used to that you know it, it takes you a minute to realize naturally how your energy is boosted, right? So you have to give this a little bit of time. I will say that. All right, now, now this one here, you, you already know this one's my favorite because I have too much, too much juice on this product, right? The sleep tonic, oh my God, the sleep tonic. This thing, I was surprised at the effect the first time I took it, the second time, third time, I'm telling you like, this thing right here, if you need to get to sleep naturally without any of those chemicals and you know other things, now you could try melatonin, that's fine too. But this, you guys, I'm telling you, your whole body relaxes. Your whole body is like, after about 30 minutes, you feel it. It's like, oh wow, your muscles relax. And I talked to you guys about how I was having this really negative relationship with water. I had a negative relationship with sleep. Like I would hang on to being awake. Even if I was sleepy, it was like, uh-uh, no, no, no. Uh-uh, fighting sleep, fighting rest. You know, that's like, why am I fighting rest? Like literally, like for real. I would catch myself falling asleep and tell myself, like wake myself up, like if I may be watching something on TV or whatever, I wanted to stay awake, you know, and so I would stay up till about one, two o'clock in the morning, a lot, and then call myself trying to wake up early to meditate. Like, I, I, come on, really? Really? Like, you can't do this. You need rest, right? I've always been a night owl, so, you know, I, that's just me. The nighttime is my time. And when you become a mother and you have children and you have to do all these other things throughout the day and you feel like your time is not your own, you know, then you want to hang on to the time that you have alone, the time that you have alone to just to not have any other responsibility, but just do you, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and just everybody's asleep and you're up, right? You take advantage of those hours. And so I will fight sleep just so I could have that time to myself, like, 
You know what I mean? Which is really kind of, because I can make time to the day for myself. I could do that. Why am I hanging on to the night? Why am I hanging on? Like, it's okay to rest. It's okay to rest. It's okay to go to sleep. You need to go to sleep. And, and, and I guess too, you know, like going to, going to bed at 9, 30, 10 o'clock to me is like, oh my God, that's too early. That is too early. Way too early to be going to sleep, you know, but it's, <laughs> but it's not. If I'm waking up at five o'clock, that's not too early. And if my kids are already asleep, why don't I rest? Why do I need to stay up to one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, you know, and deplete myself of, of needed rest? Like it's, it's just nuts. Anyway, all of that to say, I had, I was having some issues in January. I took some of this. I took I took this. Now I couldn't take too many supplements because I was really recovering from a supplement that I was taking that really depleted me to the utmost. <laughs> and so I had to kind of like be very careful as to what other herbs and uh, supplements I was putting in my body. I had to to not do anything else until I was in the clear. However, on nights where I just absolutely can't because I'm so used to staying awake and, you know, the insomnia, I don't know if it's just getting older sometimes, you just can't get to sleep. You can't, or you can't turn your mind off and get to sleep. This, this, that's really all I want to say is this, okay? I'm telling you, God gave us what we need with these herbs. Like, you don't need to go to get Lunesta and Ambien or or z quill or any of that other chemical stuff like right here herbs herbs will do it so calm botanicals the link will be in the description box down below i absolutely stand for their products i absolutely stand for them okay okay love those love those okay um another favorite another natural favorite that i have is not new to a lot of you guys coconut oil all right, I have been using this for my teeth and my gums. I do oil pulling in my mouth. I take a teaspoon, a full heaping teaspoon of it in my mouth and swish it around between my teeth and things like that to help loosen up the plaque and it helps to whiten your teeth naturally. All right, it helps to heal your gums if your gums are bleeding or swollen or something, you have issues with your gums. It helps to heal that, you guys, naturally. All right, so before I brush my teeth, I swish with the coconut oil. It melts in your mouth and you just swish it through. Do not swallow it when you're doing this. Do not swallow it because it is picking up the bacteria in your mouth, all right? Love, okay? Along with that, I change my toothpaste. I no longer use, um, what were we using? My husband, he's not on board yet, but um, Crest, Colgate, and all those other toothpastes. I now use this. This is called Black Magic. Now, this is an active, active. Mm, this is this is an activated charcoal type of toothpaste in a tube. It is black. Okay, as you can see, it is black. You guys, it doesn't it doesn't foam up like normal. It doesn't it doesn't foam up like regular toothpaste. It does. Your mouth looks black and all that type. But if you can get over all that, okay, get over the difference, um, you will see the benefits. You will see the benefits. And I'm so glad that I switched. I'm so glad that I switched. I see the benefits in my teeth. I got this one, I got mine from Amazon. I'll, you know what, I'll link that stuff in the description box down below where, you know, the Amazon link, if I can. I'll link the Amazon link to this if you guys are interested in this. It was like $15, okay? And um, yeah, listen. <laughs> No fluoride, no artificial colors, no sodium laurel sulfate, or, or organic activated bamboo charcoal, okay? No mixing required, no gluten if you care about any of that. You're not supposed to swallow toothpaste anyway, so, you know, but still the traces of it, I guess. <laughs> you don't want to swallow. But, uh, yeah, listen. So happy, so happy that I switched to natural toothpaste so happy like I see better results with this toothpaste than I do with that other toothpaste I was using the Colgate and the seriously I see better results with this and I'm just like wow and it, along with my um, coconut oil first spit that out and then brush it up. man stop stop playing so that leads me to deodorant deodorant y'all 
I switched over. Um, I've been wearing natural deodorant. I've been wearing natural deodorant now for over a year. And the first one that I use is pretty good. This one here I got from Sephora. This one is the La Vanilla Vanilla Breeze Healthy Deodorant. That was that? The Healthy Deodorant. Vanilla Breeze is the scent and it's by La Vanilla Laboratories. Again, I got this from Sephora. It lasted me a long time. A long time this did. Now I will say when you first get into natural deodorants, um, you know, from using, like, cause I used to use Degree faithfully. Like Degree was my favorite stuff. You know, antiperspirant. But the thing is, you're supposed to sweat, like you know, and and it does take a while for your body to get acclimated to using natural deodorant. It doesn't happen immediately. Like you, you you're gonna freak out the first month. You're gonna freak out because it's like, oh my god, you, you're you're going to sweat. You know, you're, it's going to betray you because your body has to get used to it. It just really does. So you go through a period of like, oh, you're in situations where the, the natural deodorant is like <laughs> natural deodorant. <laughs> this is definitely not degree. OK, I've been in so many situations like that. And it was like, man, I should have wore a degree today. But then it's like, no, you know, no, you know. So the thing is, you kind of have to be prepared for that. So you may have to freshen up and reapply in situations like that. Like, just take it with you. Put it in a little baggy, a little makeup bag, some kind of cute little bag. Get you some little wipes. They have the refreshing wipes that you can get from Walmart, Target or whatever. You know, freshen it up a little bit, dry it off, boom, boom, boom. Handle your business like that. Go to the restroom and handle it, right? Um, it's worth it. You know, it, it, you know if, if you're able to do that, I would recommend doing that if you want to make the switch because it will betray you. It will, okay? Especially in the summertime when it is like 100 degrees where I live. Is it 100, 205? You're going to sweat, okay? So you just have to be prepared to take care of yourself. That's all. Now my favorite natural deodorant, and they have a really, really nice line of these of different scents, is the Nubian Heritage Natural Deodorant. This is the 24-hour deodorant. Now this one has worked the best to me. I love this one. I love this one. I love this brand. I do. The scent of this is Indian Hemp and Haitian Vetiver. Now they have a lot of different scents. This was like six bucks, okay, at Sprouts. I got mine from Sprouts. You can also get them on Amazon as well. If I find a link, I'll put it in the description box for you guys if you're interested. It's made with neem oil, shea butter. I'll put the, the ingredients, you know, some of the ingredients because it's a lot. Um, but it's all natural. It's all natural, okay? None of the stuff that, you know, is in degree. This is made by Sundial Brands, which also makes Shea Moisture products. So, uh, yeah, I wonder if, in fact, it is a derivative, derivative? <laughs> if it's um, related to Shea Moisture in any way. Nubian Heritage, Shea Moisture, there's Shea Butter in here, okay. You know, and it's Sundial Brands. So, I wonder if this is, I, could, I guess I could look it up, Google it and see, but I, I would, I would, I would, I would say they are related to Shea Moisture, but I love these, you guys. I love them. I love them. All right, so the last thing I'm going to talk about is vagina. Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about Yoni. All right. Now, I'm not going to get too deep on it, but if you guys want a separate video about feminine care, Yoni care, um, we could talk about that. We can talk about it, okay? I do have some Yoni eggs and things like that. So, you know, if you want to want to have that, kind of video pop if you want me to talk about that yoni care we can talk about that but for now i'm just going to mention these two items because i love them i do and at first i want to show you that i'm not playing games because this is what the first one this is how it looks now right this is the oil this is called yoni oil now this is the first one i bought and i had to just stop using it because <laughs> Yeah, okay. I had it for body. I've used this. I had it for a little over the had it I've used this for over a year. All right. And so I had to re up obviously and I did and this is what it looks like normally. So as you can see, all right, 
I use this up and the, the reason why it's a different color is because I used to have this on my counter and the sun sh would shine through the window and it kind of, and it messed up the color. It messed up the coloring. Okay. So now I keep it underneath my cabinet so the sun doesn't, you know, do anything to alter the product. So that's why it's a different color. But this, this Yoni oil from Goddess Body. You guys, Yoni. Yoni is, it just means vagina. I mean, if you want to just use the English word for it, but it's, um, you know, it's for your, for your feminine parts. You do not put it inside your vagina. You actually put it on your vulva, which is the external part of your uh, vagina, your, your inner lips and outer lips. Okay. You don't need a lot of it. And the smell of this smell is so divine you guys like oh my god oh the smell it's just so it's just and it's and then you walk around you smell like this smell I can't describe it to you because it has its own smell it's just I love it lemongrass is, okay lemongrass is in there so you can imagine if lemongrass is in there the kind of citrusy herbal goodness it is it's um okay we got olive oil coconut neem all right tea tree and lemongrass infused with red raspberry sage frankincense myrrh apple cider vinegar and rose quartz listen this <laughs> like where was this all my life where was it all of my life where I'm going to link her website in the description box so you can read all about the benefits of this Yoni oil and what it is to do. Okay. Uh, all I'm going to tell you guys is if you are interested in taking care of your vagina or you're, if you're interested in taking care of your feminine power, <laughs> This step one, step one right here, step one. This right here will change your yoni life. It will change your yoni life. And that's just step one. There's other things you can do as well, okay? That will just get you in tuned with your womb, with your yoni, and think taking care. Taking care, taking care of your yoni, you guys, is so important as a woman. It's so important when you are um, learning to love yourself, okay? It's important to really truly love yourself, love who you are as a woman. Yeah. And, um, another one here is also from Goddess Body, um, and this is her Yoni Wash, all right? She actually came right here. This is what it looks like, Yoni Wash, all right? And it smells just like the oil. And um, it's to wash the external part of your vagina. Not none of, none of this goes inside of your vagina. Now you could put a little bit of the oil inside; wouldn't hurt anything. A little bit if something got, got in there. Like when I use my yoni eggs, you know, I'll cover, I'll coat my yoni eggs with the oil and insert the yoni egg. And you can also use it, you know, um, with your significant other and things like that if you need a little help. Okay. So, um, yeah, Yoni wash, love this too. Love it too. So obviously I don't want to use, um, you know, <laughs> I don't, I don't use, I don't even use the soaps that I used to use anymore, but the harsh soap on your vagina, you know, you don't want to use harsh things on your vagina. All right. Um, really the best thing to use is water, <laughs> but, um, it's okay to clean your vulva with, the right type of cleaning product like this, a natural product like this. Okay, it's okay to do that. You know, people will say, I girl, you don't need to be using, you don't use no soap, you don't use, you use nothing. Yeah, you don't need to use anything like that inside, but that is an exposed, the exposed area. The, it's okay to clean that part. It's okay to clean that part because that still holds bacteria and all types of things. You got to get in those folds and get it nice and clean and fresh and things like that, you know. And not just, you know, you don't just neglect, you know, that Volvo. You don't, you don't neglect that. Okay, you clean it. And these, these products right here have been absolutely amazing. 
amazing like i'm not playing games with you guys like she has other products on her site as well like the yoni tea and things like that like I, you know I've, I've 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 done her detox um i purchased a lot of things from her website so yeah i've talked and talked and talked so i'm gonna go um didn't mean to make this video go so long you guys but you know when i when i love a product i just feel like i gotta talk about it for a thousand years okay that's just how it goes if you watch my videos for years if you've been with me for a while you know when i'm when i like something i'm hyped about it <laughs> I'm hyped about it. And mic was, my mic was off. My mic was just chilling on the table. I hope you guys heard me, everything I said, even though my mic was like on the table. <laughs> okay. Anyway. So anyway, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will be um, doing, what am I going to do next? I think I'm going to do, I think I'm going to pop a wig on next, you guys. Oh, no. I think I'm going to pop a wig on. Play around in some hair a little bit. I do need to bring you guys. It's five months now with my locks. <laughs> five months. And I recorded the four-month video. It's sitting there wet it, ready, waiting to be edited. And I never edited it. I didn't edit it. You know, but I was easy on myself. I didn't beat myself up. I'm not going to beat myself up for it. I hope you guys forgive me. But, uh, yeah, um, I still have to edit that. And I just may go ahead and do a five-month as is. All right? So, anyway... I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.